everyone, it's Mrs. Curtis. Day 21. So today is the last day for the chicks to hatch and there's actually one chick that hatched that's downstairs still drying off in the second incubator and there are two chicks that have little pecs and so they'll probably hatch later on today. And then I wanted to show you over here are all of the chicks that hatched yesterday and last night. So we have a ton in there. Let's go ahead and count them. We've got one, two in the little food bowl. <laughs> Wait, all right, one, two, three, four back there, five, six, seven, eight, eight. <laughs> we have eight. Oh my goodness. And actually nine because one, like I said, is hatched, but it's in the incubator downstairs and because it's still wet and I didn't want to stick it in here until it's dried off. Um, so inside, this is really a fish tank, but this is kind of like where they're living right now. Um, they have a thing of water, that thing right there. And when they drink, it's super cute. Like they would get a little bit of water in their beak and then they tilt their heads back and, and drink it. And then they have food, which I'm not sure why, but they all like to lay in the food. So I did put a little bit of food on the ground for them too, just cause I, they like that. They love to cuddle up together um, often. So right now they're kind of awake, but then in a, I don't know, in a few minutes, they'll huddle up together and like take a little nap together. Um, Anyway, I put that little stuffed animal in there because sometimes they like to cuddle up to stuff. And I think they, they just enjoy it. It's comfortable to them, so. And I do that when they're in the classroom too. I just wanted to let you know that um, even though you're not going to get to hold or pet these chicks, that the kindergarten teachers have all agreed to invite everybody who's in kindergarten this year back next year to the kindergarten classroom to pet the chicks that we have next year. So you will get an opportunity. You're just going to have to wait a little bit. All right. Aren't they adorable? So cute. All right. And then that one right there that's standing up. And the brown one, the one that I'm kind of like zoomed in on, that one. That's finally <laughs> Samantha uh, Maximilian's sister named that one finally. That's the one that took forever to come out. <laughs> Even though there are three more down there that are taking a long time to come out. But Okay, so today we're going to write in the journal. Okay, there's my daughter's sink. We are in my daughter's bathroom. And there's a reason for that. It's because... Um, I have two cats, as you have seen in some of my videos, and they, I fear, would want to possibly eat one of these little baby chicks. So I, we lock them in the bathroom. Um, they don't seem to mind, but we visit them often. All right, so today is day 21 of the hatching and so I there it's all filled in today is the day that they should all be hatched by the end of the day today okay and it looks like all but one is going to hatch and my husband took the one that didn't have pecs or anything and he candled it and saw that it was just yolk in there so I don't think that one was ever fertilized so it's gonna be pretty amazing if if 11 out of 12 hatch so how many hatched? Well, so right now, really only nine have hatched, technically, even though two of them have pecs and they're like working on it. So I'm just gonna put down nine because those are how many have actually come out of the eggs. So how many have hatched? Nine. What color are the chicks? Well, like you noticed, I mean, most of the time when you think of chicks, you think they're yellow, right? And we do have some yellow ones, but we also, let's go back over to them really quick. We also have, you might notice, look at that. 
But that one is yellow, but the one there is like brown, even it has some black on it. This one is mostly brown. And then those two are yellow. And those two over there are like a yellow brownish. And then that one is like brown with black. So they have lots of different colors. So we're going to come back over here. Not all chicks are yellow. See, um, what color are the chicks? Well, they are yellow. Y E L L O W Y E L L O W as well as yellow. Remember that song? Comma brown B R O W N B R O W N. That's what I do. And and I'm out of room, so I'm just gonna write the word and right here. And black. B L A C K spells black. Where's my pen down there? B L A C K spells black, right? And then what happened? Okay, well, that, a lot happened. And this, this little box is for the picture if you want to draw a picture of the chicks. And I've sent lots of pictures to you, so you could just look, stare at one and, and draw it if you want. So this is what happened. They, and we're going to write the word they, so it's, it's capital T, H, E, like the word the, and then a Y. That spells they. They pecked p e k, and it's a c and a k. Pecked meaning it already happened, so it will be e d pecked. They pecked a hole h o o, and there's a silent e making the o say o h o o. They pecked a hole, and well, first they pecked a hole. Then they see how I'm making a space in between my words. Then they pecked p e c k pecked e b. More, m o r, more, and there's a silent e. Now after they they pecked that hole, and then they pecked some more, and then they started pushing, and when they pushed, they pushed their way out. So they pecked a hole, and then they pecked a little bit more, like around the egg, and then they pushed. Then. Like the word the and then n. Then they, that's T H E Y, see how I made a space? Then they pushed. Okay, p, uh, sh. Now that is the quiet H brother. He's my favorite H brother. S H. E D means it already happened. Then they pushed out. Now out is O U, and I haven't taught you that yet that ow is ou sometimes it's ow out you will learn ow in first grade but just tell you now and then there's a period at the end of your sentence so let's read what we wrote they pecked a hole then they pecked more then they pushed out um, you do not have to write the exact same thing that I just wrote, obviously, write your own. And I would like you to draw a beautiful picture of one of our chicks. Um, I just wanted to let you know that on Monday will be my last video on the chicks. We are going to do one more page in the journal on Monday. And I just, I want you to know that I am going to keep making videos. So if you still have this YouTube channel and you just want to check on it every once in a while, I'm going to be doing some farm animals and I'm going to be doing some other like math lessons and reading lessons and things like that. And you're more than welcome to watch those and learn 
from them for the next month of school, okay? So um, I have really enjoyed this. This is the best time of year. And um, let's take one last look at these beautiful chicks. And on Monday, um, maybe I'll get one of my kids to hold one so you can see that. And I want you to check out how small they are right now because when you see them on Monday, they're gonna be a lot bigger. So let's go ahead and check them out one last time. Um, let's go over the top there this time. So you don't have to look through the. And they're like compared to that doggy stuffed animal thing, they're pretty small. So cute. They just kind of wander around. This heat lamp is what's keeping them warm because until they have their like real feathers, they do need to stay warm. And I can tell if they're getting too hot because they pant with their beak like stays open and they'll pant. All right, everybody. Looks like they're ready for a little nap. Night, night, chickies.